if i told you that your child is going to school and everyone is giving your child a cigarette every day to smoke you would be really angry right that someone is you right now because the air quality is so bad that not just one it's like four or five cigarettes a day that your child is smoking when when by the time the child goes to school and comes back what is the situation right now the worst pollutant right or the most dangerous pollutant easily is, is the particulate matter we're looking at the wind and we're looking at uh, the the red the, the uh, representation of particulate matter 2.2.5 2.5 microns right 2.5 microns or smaller right that's what we're looking at right so the red spots are like the hot spots and the blue ones are clean areas and on a scale of like blue to red is how it how it's varying this entire belt is consistently red right and then we have like one big red hot spot in mumbai right uh, so th- this is what you consistently see now governments across the world uh, recommend that the mean of the pm 2.5 has to be under 15 right the consequences of high exposure to pm 2.5 are not just like an asthma or a temporary cough but it stunts your child's growth especially for children it's it's disastrous because it will stunt your child's growth it will reduce their iq it makes them 2018 20, 20 the studies of as of as late as 2019 where they have like concrete evidence to show that it makes your makes children dumb is an actual an, an actual drop in iq that's the thing that strikes most in this chart is that why is it only an india problem yeah i mean uh, india china east asia but 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 what is basically an india china problem I mean, you just don't see this kind of red anywhere else in the world. Yeah, that's right. Even Why in China, you, you actually see it mostly in the industrial areas. As a percentage of what China size, it's it's much smaller for China, right? Here you see it in our like biggest best cities. You know, they said Beijing is is polluted and stuff. It's nothing is compared to Delhi and Bombay right now. Nothing. Right. There's no place in the world that that is compared to Delhi and Bombay right now. Yeah, in terms of PM two point five, absolutely. when say london and new york were heavily coal dependent there was a big smog in london in the 19 i think 50s or 60s where lots of people died yeah lots of people died and then they came up with regulations and and did things to you know do away with the issue right like we haven't we haven't evolved to that step yet and we are now burning and our problem is also not industrial coal burning and and uh, you know unregulated industries all over in slums also like garbage burning and stuff like that even in nerman point in kolaba and marine drive in churchgate we have people burning you know these are the areas that i frequent there are tens of places where garbage gets burnt every day particles themselves are different sizes pm10 is a particulate matter generally 10 micrometers in diameter or smaller like dust from a construction site on the other hand pm2.5 is only 3% the diameter of a human hair while pm10 gets trapped mostly in the nose mouth and throat pm2.5 can travel into the respiratory tract reach your lungs and cause serious respiratory problems but it can't be just that so maybe can you walk us through the wind patterns and how that's changed in the last 2 years specifically in bombay in the winters why it gets worse as compared to the like the, the garbage burning probably happens all year round right yeah. the emissions don't go up in the winters but what what seems likely or what what seems to be happening right now right is If if you zoom in and see the wind around Bombay right now, so this this number is one twenty eight micrograms per meter cube. Early in the morning, it was it was more like two hundred two hundred two hundred twenty, right? Uh, like and in, I, with no source, would you find anything less than a one sixty one seven? So like different sources have their ways of different ways and different points where they measure. So but and, and, and again, just to just to clarify, we're talking about PM two point five, which is now one twenty. Yeah, most of the pollution is generated in this. I believe in this Bhivandi and uh, in in the Thane Bhivandi and Tarapur Boysar areas. Uh, so when there's a south, consistent southwest wind, that the, the industrial pollution gets wiped out. Whatever whatever the city generates, that remains within the city, right? But what happens in the winters is that that southwest wind or post monsoons, that southwest wind retreats and uh, the, the local wind, the 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 land breeze and the sea breeze, that the local wind is what takes over. right now the problem with this wind is that it's flipping its direction every whatever 12 13 hours or so right so whenever it flips its direction say during the night 
this will get pushed out towards the sea and during the day it's getting pushed right back in. The cold weather also affects the wind patterns, right? The PM 2.5 does tend to get concentrated towards the ground when it's cooler. That, that's, that's what like, so the cold does make it worse, right? But uh, if, if it's really cold and there's a strong wind uh, in one direction for like 24 hours, you, you'll see most of the pollution disappearing, right? Like it won't be as bad for us. From like say end of Diwali to maybe end of Jan to mid-Feb, it's, the air is so bad that you can't go out. So like eight months in a year, you're telling a child not to go out. Yeah, this is what the, this is what the Washington uh, Department of Health says, right? For this is their advisory for schools, right? So uh, basically, what they say is once these levels cross 150, right? So for, for recess, even the 15 minute recess or a physical education class of one hour and athletic events, right? They've broken it down into three levels of athletic activity for or, or outdoor activity for children, right? So beyond 150, they're saying that recess should be cancelled. Right. Uh, beyond 150, physical education class should get cancelled. Right. Keep children indoors. And if you can do classes indoors, do them. Otherwise, yeah, they don't they don't go outdoors for anything. Right. And uh, similarly for athletic events. Right. Uh, here in, in Bombay, we're not being followed by anyone. Uh, this is the air quality, the PM 2.5 levels in BKC. Right. BKC, where some of the most elite schools of the city. Are, right. Like two or three. Of, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Right now. So I'm assuming that a good portion of like Bombay's elite kids go to study at BKC. This is the website of the Central Pollution Control Board. Board ministry, like it, it, it comes under the central government, right? Ministry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, their PM 2.5, the PM 2.5 levels as per this website in the morning today were 400 plus, right? 450, 470, and the maximum as per their their reading is 500. And I believe it's only 500 because the reading does not go beyond 500. This is what you have uh, read and researched. How much more can we sustain before, you know, we are, are we sitting on a time bomb and what does it look so, like? At least the damage from PM 2.5 is not short term, which is why like, you know, when COVID hit us, people started dying within weeks, right? But till we saw that happening and till, till people saw uh, hospitals getting filled up, no, people were ignoring warnings from doctors and everywhere else, assuming that nothing will happen. Right. It's the same same thing right now. If I told you that your child is going to school and everyone's giving your child a cigarette every day to smoke, you, you'd be really angry, right? That someone is you right now. But the air quality is so bad that it's not just one, it's four or five cigarettes a day that your child is smoking when, when by the time the child goes to school and comes back. You're not going to, it's, it's not going to have any short-term impact, but every year there is serious things that is happening, that, that serious things that are going wrong. It's a long-term thing. It's, it's going to, in the long run, it, we will see them. Right? You can't, you can't say no construction anymore. You cannot say uh, no carrying debris in and out. You, you can, as a long-term policy measure, probably promote use of public transport, fewer vehicles on the road, and we ought to get there as a city. So that's probably what we are preparing for as a government. What can we do now, you think, in, in the next five months, eight months? What can Mumbai do to... What is your opinion on how we can deal with so this? We can probably use some kind of... What, what Delhi is using this year is some, some kind of water cannons. We can scale mm -hmm. that over the sea and maybe get rid of some part of in and out effect that happens with the dirty air. That's one of the things that I wanted to go. And we can and we can use the sea water itself, so you don't yeah. have to. It's not a water problem. Yeah, it's not a water problem. And it's not availability of space. We can spray it anywhere, right? almost anywhere. So that's one of the things that I wanted to propose to someone in the municipal corporation, or I don't know who the right person to implement this is. But the other thing that has to be done is at least for the hotspots, right? To, or at least starting with the hotspots, which are like BKC and Mazgaon. We need to figure out what the source is, right? Because it's very easy to go and say, let's start like an odd-even policy or let's start banning vehicles. Or, but we don't know. I mean, it, it's possible that it's so widespread that there is no one big concrete source. But typically, or at least, I believe that the chances are high that there would be few sources of, uh, few sources causing, bulk of the problem would be caused by less than 10, 10 sources or 20 sources. So if, if that is the case, then, you know, uh, at least at least before starting to think about a solution let's understand where the problem is right like what who, is it from garbage burning is it from industries is it from cars is it you know there could be so many sources for it right and which one of them is the biggest contributor right i don't think there is at least of, as of this year any solid uh, study from the, the government or the municipalities to figure out where it's coming from 